Hello, welcome back to the western front of the Great Patriotic War. Last time we basically just made it through the air turn and a little bit of our, um, you know, early part of the turn, just looking around uh, for our multiplayer campaign. Um, as I mentioned last time, we're on turn two, June 29, 1941. This time we're going to crack straight into it try to set up a shorter front line here that's the main goal uh, a front line that hopefully may might hold out a turn or two that would be brilliant and one that we can rely on I would really like this guy to be able to have another turn or two off I'm just going to move him far back as we can get him. Because um, frankly, he he's not ready to fight still. This thing, it says it's ready, but let's keep it on refit for another turn. Uh, Let's see. Can we stack something with it? We'll, we'll give it one of these understrength divisions. And then we'll move this guy up. Hmm. Well, we'll wait to do that for a second. I'm just trying to create a bit of a barrier on the right side here. So I actually like the idea of keeping him here. He might, might be able to hold there. I don't know. Certainly don't want to be moving people forward, but at the same time, I don't really want to be moving them super far back either. Well, what I want is for him to take the long way around. I want him to have to go up the coast. So let's leave that door open for him. And the rest of this front line we will set up such that he will have to go up the coast. Now we do want to try to keep this open because we have this guy here. Um, see if we can move this guy out oh no he's he's doing naval interdiction I think that's what's going on here so it's probably better to march him out all right that's fine same with this guy just march him out he was actually frozen last turn so couldn't even move um we'll probably give him to 65th rifles Just for now. Just because the 65th Rifles don't have anyone. I could swear we did a lot of this stuff last time. Like, didn't we move this guy? We'll move him again. Maybe I'm crazy. Whatever. We'll just start sending people up here. Kind of wish I had flown some air superiority up there now, but did not think ahead. Let's see if we can get you out. We got 155. This should be enough to load you up. Hell yeah. 
Well, we evacuated a bunch of guys. Can we actually move you all into this port tile? I think we can. No. All right. Well, the coastal fort. Oh, that's a ferry. I thought that was a coastal fort. I always forget what those symbols mean because you spend so little time near the water in this game that the symbology is just kind of meaningless. All right. So you've got like 2,000 men. You don't really need anything. Um, well, let's see. Let's see if we put you up here if you're in range of everyone. No. So let's go one tile down from that, I guess. That's still on the rail. He was pointing at someone down here. Oh, so that's his... He's under the 27th Army. Hmm. What other armies do we have around here? Do we have any? Do have the Luga army. But that guy's a incompetent fool, isn't he? Yeah. Not really in any rush to use him. Man, it would be great to replace some of these guys, at least at the army level. At the army level, it's almost worth it to replace them. All right, we probably want to stick him here, I guess. I mean, what I want to happen is for them to be to just go up the coast. I want him to see that and to just to change his mind, to just head up the coast. I don't think that's what's going to happen, but I could be wrong. All right, so this guy does have some direct... So I feel like he does need to go this way because a lot of his direct commands are up here. But you don't. Oh, you do. Ooh. All right, we might need to do some moving around of things here. All right, so can this guy go direct to anyone else? Go to the airborne commander. So we have this airborne division that we're gonna move up. And the, the other airborne division will be kind of a reserve. And we'll stick them on refit for now. We'll move this guy up here, and then that should give everything we need. What does the 5th Airborne Corps have for support? Not really anything. Hmm. Trying to see if there's anything that might have some support units that aren't really needed. Put you on refit. I 
I really do not like that gap there. That's dangerous. I don't like this here. Uh, but I like the idea of sitting here. Not that these guys have enough combat prep points to really write home about, but... Let's get rid of this thing. I mean, it's basically destroyed already, so... Oh shit, did I leave planes there? Yes, I did. Alright. Send them to the reserve. Uh, let's be safe and send these to the reserve as well. Holy shit, that cost a lot of AP. Why did that just take 15 AP? I thought it was one AP to reassign that stuff. Excuse me? <laughs> like... Wasn't it? Isn't that one? Uh, uh, that's not good. I could have sworn it's one AP to take those off. Yeah, you hate to see it. This thing really got messed up too. God damn. All right. Um, let's see. Airbase details. I'm just feeling very nervous about these guys being up here. And the fighters, it's whatever, but they don't really want to lose the bombers. I like those. Those are going to be flying some actual missions potentially, so I'll leave them there. All right. Let's see how many tanks we can get into position. Into positions that they're actually useful. I would love to get a tank up there. That would be amazing. But I don't think even if I railed him up, is, is he not on rail? Why does he have zero point? Oh, because he's on refit. Son of a bitch. All right. Well, let's try to not get him in combat then. Leave him on refit. We'll send these guys up ahead to start setting up uh, the next line of defenses. Which I'm thinking it's going to be around here somewhere, potentially. Probably on the other side of that river. Hmm. 
I mean, that could be a good use for this guy. Just to sit there in that tile and get knocked back. Just to cost him an extra few movement points. All right, these are both unready, so we'll stick them both on refit, I guess. They got a third motorized. Does this guy also got a third? No, he gets the 12. Okay. So let's send the third motorized core, wherever the hell his HQ is, this guy. What does he got? He's got some very beat up units, I think. Let's send them on the other side of the river, um, on the, the right side of it. Put them all on refit and kind of get them out of the zone of immediate danger. Because we know essentially he's going to be barreling for Let's see, that should work there, right? Then we'll put the core here, potentially. Stick this on refit. And we're going to potentially try to protect him with some infantry. Kind of interested to see how this battle went. Not well. Not well at all. Uh, it was an SS division, though, so. The Totenkorf SS motorized. Which apparently has some some stoops with it. Of course, all he lost is just some useless flak half tracks. Not useless, but not as valuable as a stoog. So the second tank division got absolutely blasted. He was only putting up a five. Hmm. Well, we killed some light tanks at least and a Panzer IV C. I mean, damage the Panzer for you. But he destroyed a gazillion of our tanks. A whole bunch of BT-7s and T-28s. And some T-26s. And even destroyed nine... Nine T-34... That's just the regular T-34, so that's still the, the crappy one before the T-34M comes into service. Still, it's a good amount of tanks. All right, so we want these guys probably to fall back, and maybe we'll go under the blue, blue group. Not sure, because I think if I remember, the Northwestern Front is a little close to their limit. So is blue. Really need that other front to come in. And for some of these useless units to get killed, that would help too. Okay. 
the battles took place. What was this? I don't remember. Oh, it's just some random NKVD guys. So there, there weren't a ton of battles this turn. I did push in here pretty heavily. But that's that's where the, the bulk of the fighting was. Alright, let's see if there's any way we can get some of these up here. So if we're to rail them up. I want to rail them up here. But maybe I should rail them up even higher. Up to the next defensive line. Because they are kind of beat beat up. If we were to rail all three of these guys up here. Might be worth doing. Just to get them some supplies. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just rail them really far up. And then next turn, we'll take them off their trains. Nice. Uh, who is their commander? I don't remember. Should have clicked on it first. 11th, 10th, and 11th. Where's the 11th? Oh, God damn it! he's out of range of that. Can I take this off the map? No, I can't. I have to do something. Really? It's such a dangerous spot for him. Gonna have to give him some guards. Hate doing this. Really didn't want him there, but. Oh, this might have marched as far as, as far as we want, basically. That's really good because had we not been able to march up there, don't don't know if we could hold. I uh, should have stacked him with something. Oh well. Stuck him with his buddy. Excuse me. Wow. Alright, let's keep it simple for these guys. Hopefully, that can reach. Yes. Okay, so now the 11th army. So we'll stick you right on the other side of Pskov. Because you do have some stuff going back to you. Is that in range? No. About there. Yes. Uh, this guy can move not very far at all.
here's the 11th rifles. You can actually drive, which is good. The less train man, the better. Okay. We're getting there. Guess I'll we'll just back back these guys up here. Give them to someone down here. Because they're not going to be able to get into a useful position. They're going to get to be buddies again. Let's, let's give this guy over to the 29th Rifles. Just because for the foreseeable future, that's his commander. Same with this guy. We'll give him to the 29th Rifles. Make sure all these guys are in refit. I want to make sure my motorized cores get high high supply priority. I do kind of want to give this guy bit of artillery. Sorry, just finishing up my coffee here. We were hunting for honey this morning. All right. Now well, let's see what we can do over here. Because ideally, if we could kind of defend the river...
these are all the guys we got out of the pocket, which is really cool. Um, trying to think where they might be useful. I think the army might be useful around on the left side. So let's leave him here. The rifle core. Uh, let's just start moving him up. Not sure where they'll be useful yet, but. Hopefully somewhere up there. Now the this guy actually has stuff that is assigned to him. Where is this guy? 85th rifle. Are they in the pocket still? Oh, uh, yes, they are. I mean, overall, I'm not displeased with how this pocket is set up. Swamp. Prefer not to have him in the swamp. Guy already got hit once, so oh, he's been hit three times actually. <coughs> Let's read the fourth tank division's unit history. Fourth tank division was formed in July 1940 in the Western Special Mis Military District as part of the Sixth Mechanized Corps. On June 22nd, it included the Seventh Tank Regiment, First Battalion. 2nd, 3rd battalions, so combined it had about 80 tanks in the 7th tank regiment, had the 8th tank regiment with about the same, had some motorized, so it was a pretty strong division. It was slow to form up and equip though, and it had less than 30% of what it was authorized in October. In early 1941, it got higher priority and by June, by the start of Barbarossa, it was almost completely equipped with artillery. So this is one of our stronger divisions, and that's why it actually won a single battle. And then obviously it's, it's lost two, but, you know, it has had its share of success so far in the war. Alright, I actually really like the shape of that pocket compared to previous playthrough. Alright, so what is mostly under the 10th Army? Just stuff in the pocket, or is there anything out of the pocket that would be useful for it to be around? Because I'm thinking, like, potentially putting it over here. He's not a great general. He's really not a great general, but he's a general. So maybe I'll stick him over here. <coughs> oh, man. Sorry, the start of allergy season has hit me hard. Like all of the, tr because of the really warm spring so far, the trees are just absolutely exploding already. All right. Man, the north is a wreck. <laughs> it really is. God. What 
What a disaster. <sighs> Man. It's another one of these turns where you feel like there's nothing good that you can do. We kind of I really want to set this line up here. And because I know that our our left side is going to be harder to get set up than our, our right, these guys are, for the most part, going to go on to the left. I would just love... I don't know if there's a ledger or something that tells you what you spent your APs on. But I'd love to know why that one cost 15. I don't know what the hell happened. Like that, it honestly made me want to reload the save, but I'm not a wuss. Oh my god. That's a lot of APs to lose on a stupid mistake, though. Really stupid. This guy goes all the way back there. All right, can we give him to the 16th Rifle Corps? I think we can. 16th Rifle Corps. That'll make a little bit more sense anyways. Uh, this guy is kind of a pretty awful general. Can't really replace him though because I wasted 15 points. So infuriating. What a disaster. Can't even really plug all these holes with what I have. What can I give anything else to this guy? I could give him an AA battalion, but the uh, the army level already has that. But the army is really far away. What does this guy have? Does he have anything? Yeah, let's give this over to... Why is it not showing up as an option? Hmm. Alright, whatever. All right, the north is pretty well set. This guy's depleted and will be taken off the map. This guy would love to not take off the map, but probably should. Now, let's see if we can get another line to the first line set up. March him up there. March him up here.
and I think that's where I'll call it. So we'll set up the rest of the front next time. Um, obviously, we still got a lot to do, so should be plenty of excitement up ahead. See you next time.